what's going on? Glad you stopped by to hang out with me for a few minutes today. Well, let's play another game for the Tandy Color Computer. So I got one here today called Canyon Climber. Now I can tell you, this particular game was not made for the Color Computer 2. It's made for the first one, the original Color Computer. I can see right here it's made in 1982. This one does not look as good graphically as some of the other games I've already played. Downland, Megabug, Demolition Derby. This one looks more like an Atari game. This looks like something you would see on the Atari. And it's a, a Donkey Kong clone, pretty much. You've got to make your way up through the obstacles from the bottom to the top. And it takes you to the next screen. I believe there's three different screens on this one. And then you start over. If you make it all the way to the top of the mountain, it looks like a, a ram or a goat or whatever comes out and hits you and knocks you all the way back down. Probably goes on forever. I think I've made it through one cycle. I don't think I've ever made it through two. The third part is kind of hard. You're going up these little mountains, you got all these little platforms to jump to, and there's birds dropping rocks or whatever it might be on you. But it's all right. Typically when I plug the Tandy in, I don't play this one for as long as I do, say, Downland or Megabug. But it's all right. So let's check it out. This is Canyon Climber for the Tandy Color Computer 2. <clears throat> okay, you can see here, this looks very Donkey Kong-ish got to make it up the ladders. It's hard to see kind of this with the graphics the way it is, but there is on the side of them little white <laughs> things in the middle of each level. There's two little things sticking up. You got to hit them and get each one on each level and then go up and hit the dynamite or the detonator up there on the top left and it blows it all up. <clears throat> and this is another one that changes colors. You see here, I've turned it on and it's sort of the orangish background. Sometimes you turn it on, it's a blue background. And you can also play this one with the keyboard. The up, down, left, right, arrows, move the character around, spacebar jumps. You might be able to do that on Downland too. Maybe even Megabug. I'm not sure, I forgot to check. <laughs> but all right, let's do this. Let's see if I can make it through at least one cycle for you. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. There's the things you gotta get. Right there. Playing this with the free floating joystick is not easy either. One more. Now make it back over here. Got it. This one's all about the timing. All right, and here's the third and final screen. You gotta watch from above, the birds are, well, they're, they're dropping rocks on you. Come on now. You really gotta watch above you here. Better to take your time. Oh no! Man, the joystick got me. Just one little hair to the left or right and he starts moving. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, come on. <sighs> Man. See, it's so hard to control this little thing. Now we'll start over. We'll try again. That was close. All right, there's that one. It's not quite as cool as the Atari explosions. Let's try this again. Oh, come on. I was just standing there. I guess that was the problem, wasn't it? Ah, oh, man. <laughs> this is frustrating. Why can't I just plug a Genesis controller into this thing? <laughs> It has a strange looking controller port like I've never seen before. One of the guys from Coco Talk, golly, was telling me about an adapter you can get to use different controllers. I gotta check into that. I'll try this one more time. <laughs> oh, he turned around on me. That wasn't fair. <laughs> he snookered me. <laughs> Pretty good at that screen. Going for it here. <laughs> okay. Golly. That was my fault. Well, he got me as I was getting up the ladder there. Man. Well, I'm not going to try it anymore. That third screen is pretty tough, especially when you get to that top level. 
if you can make it over there to that ladder in the middle and climb up it, as soon as you get up it, a ram comes out and knocks you back down and it starts you back over at the bottom, the first screen. And then it just keeps going and going and gets harder and harder. It puts more enemies, like in the first screen, there's more enemies on each level. Second screen, they're shooting the arrows faster at you. And the third one, there are even more birds dropping rocks on you. <laughs> So it's, it's all right. It's not one of my favorites, but hey, I'm glad I've got it. It's not bad by any means, especially for something of that era. Like I said, I never had this one, never played it until I got it as a collector. But it's all right. Glad to have it. So thanks for stopping by to hang out with me for a few minutes today. I'll see you next time. Uh -huh.